booth at IMTS 2022. I am here with Christian Stevenson. Christian, why don't you start us off telling us about this really cool cell that we have going on behind us. All right. Uh, so this is our collaborative mobile machine tending cell. We're showcasing a mobile manipulator mm -hmm. that drives around the cell and tends a CNC machine. Uh, so we're simulating the full process from loading blanks, machining, and then actually washing and drying the finished parts and then uh, unloading them. So you can imagine it's a complete cycle uh, from a blank to a finished machine clean part ready to go. Do you know the, uh, the cycle time from when it starts to when it ends? Yeah, it's about seven or eight minutes uh, just for the demonstration purposes. Sure, absolutely. And then we know that the CRX is new to FANUC. Why did FANUC decide to go down that route with the CRX? Yeah, so the CRX is like our newest generation of collaborative robot. Um, the prior generation uh, was designed as an industrial robot converted to a collaborative power and force limited robot. With the CRX, FANUC wanted to start collaborative and power and force limited from the ground up. So you'll notice the casting is nice and smooth, mm -hmm. uh, no pinch points. Nice, uh, really great looking unit. Very sleek. In addition to the power and force limiting, we're also showcasing new ease of use features with the CRX. We've got a new touchscreen based tablet interface, a uh, brand new way of programming for new users where we use an, an icon based uh, drag and drop programming. Very nice. When did that come out? Is that was, it, was that with the first models of the CRX? Yeah, so that's been native to the CRX since they launched. And of okay. course, since then, we've been expanding our CRX lineup. Now we can handle payloads from five kilograms all the way up to 25 kilograms. All right, I, that was gonna be my next question, so you already got it. So what else do we have going on in the FANUC booth that uh, visitors should come in and check out here? We got a lot going on. I mean, we've got a robot lift in the Corvette. How can you miss that? <laughs> right, it's kind of the attention getter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once that draws you in, uh, take a look at the vision stuff. I mean, all, this, all these robots here have cameras on them because it's all enabled by FANUC vision. Uh, that lets us do some incredible things that makes these uh, these really uh, this makes all this auto automation ready. Awesome. And then last question I got for you is: We know automation is widespread all over the place in many industries, but specifically in the manufacturing industry, where do you see collaborative robots thriving? Uh, short answer: The boring answer is everywhere. everywhere. I mean, they're permeating every facet of the industry. As more and more people get exposed to collaborative robots, mm -hmm. they start to realize that you can fit them into a lot of niche applications where maybe you couldn't fit a standard industrial robot. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, Christian, thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. And it's a great booth. You guys should come check it out if you're here. If not, where can everyone find you? All over the world. All over the world. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.